Hello. Um, in this presentation, we're going to be presenting Internet of Things applications in construction industry. Uh, we will be looking from the construction project management perspective uh, to see the examples of IoT implementations. The authors of this study are Aslı Akçamete and me, Onur Doğan. The outline of this presentation will start with the definition of Internet of Things, uh, information about generic architecture and technologies that are used in IoT uh, will be given. Uh, then we are going to skip to the potential use cases, potential applications uh, in construction industry that can be um, ca categorized into progress monitoring, asset resource tracking and quality or safety management. We are going to be concluding the session, the presentation with uh, the important remarks. Then I'll give my uh, contact information to answer your questions at the end. The Internet of Things is defined as an integrated framework uh, that enables cross-platform innovative applications to share information through uh, connected sensors. Uh, these sensors abstract data from the physical world and wireless sensor networks provide connection between these things. A very simple layering is seen in the middle. The sensors and actuators are connected to the end users, to the end processes. A generic architecture of Internet of Things is given in this figure. Uh, the data is abstracted in the perception layer by using sensors and it is securely transmitted through the network layer. And in the middleware layer, the data is converted into uh, information by being processed. And at the end layers, the information is used for the end use cases by end users. Several examples of sensors can be given in here. Acceleration sensors, magnetic sensors, force sensors or temperature, humidity, moisture sensors, acoustic sensors can be used in IoT applications. Also, different protocols are used for communication through the sensor networks. Uh, Wi-Fi uh, protocols we know very well. Bluetooth protocols, Zigbee protocols, near-field communication uh, protocols, Z-Wave protocols in domotics, home automation systems uh, can be exemplified for these protocols. Okay, uh, what about construction industry? Uh, we all know that construction industry is labor-intensive. It requires higher rates of efficiency, it requires higher productivity rates as compared to other private industries. It has a hazardous nature which requires constant monitoring. It is project-based, um, the industry has project-based uh, nature and it has a fragmented nature as well. Tasks are discontinuous, activities required, required to be monitored and controlled constantly. There are lack of communication at our construction sites, lack of coordination and a lot of inconsistencies uh, in paperwork, um, results, yields, uh, inefficiencies. About potential use cases of IoT in construction uh, management uh, domain, we have examined several studies and subjectively selected uh, some of them based on their impact in the domain. And those are um, related to automated visual management of construction activities, tracking of assets and resources, also reliable and real-time safety monitoring examples will be given as examples of potential use cases in construction area. The first example belongs to progress monitoring and task management uh, in construction project management domain. Um, Kim and others have developed a system um, that proposes an on-site construction management system. In this system, uh, the construction data, the construction information is uh, shared 
uh, and used in task management and site monitoring activities. The tasks are visualized um, on a digital map and these tasks uh, are being pinned on these maps by using augmented reality. Managers can um, use these maps to uh, assign roles to their workers and check their statuses by uh, using the system as well. Another study proposed by Lee and others, uh, that is IoT-enabled uh, BIM platform for on-site assembly services in prefabricated construction industry. The system, the proposed system, allows real-time visibility and traceability of prefabricated assembly products on construction sites. They uh, used uh, RFID tags to follow these uh, products and cloud computing services to manage the information, to share the information via the system. The functional flow of the um, system is starts with staff registration, where the resources are being uh, entered, are being uh, registered. In the order management module, the system allows to check and confirm the orders. In the third module, the assembly confirmation and quality checking has been done physically by the foreman on site, on construction sites, by using those RFID tags and readers. In the next module, the real-time progress monitoring of these um, uh, work is being done and um, integrated into the system. Uh, in the next module, in the progress visualization module, they have implemented a BIM model. They have integrated the BIM model with the system to see the places, to see the uh, positions of of the implement of the assembly products. In the uh, error alert uh, module, the system allows us to see whether the assembly product is in the right position or not, and uh, it uses GPS coordinates to check this. Um, if there is any uh, misalignments or any errors, the system raises alerts to inform the users, to, the, the, to inform the system users. The overall system has the capacity to uh, integrate the whole assembly uh, flow, assembly process in one uh, technological uh, implementation by the use of IoT um, opportunities. In this example, uh, Yuan and others have implemented a study to uh, propose a solution for temporary structural monitoring. Um, several sensors have been deployed, such as load cells, switch sensors, displacement sensors, and accelerometers, in order to monitor the conditional status of this uh, temporary scaffolding structure, and in order to give information about the uh, performance overview of this system, they have uh, proposed, they have developed a system uh, that integrates this information via cloud services. Uh, the current status of the structure can be monitored through the system, through the mobile devices by using these uh, applications. Uh, the monitoring of these uh, temporary structures uh, can be used also to do preventive maintenance, predictive maintenance actions. So uh, the system allows us to monitor the overall conditional status if there are any any uh, problems with the structure the system raises alerts and communicates with the end users through the um, system uh, application another major application area for internet of things applications in construction project management domain is safety management um, through the utilization of wireless sensor networks, through the utilization of uh, variable devices and also uh, computer vision techniques uh, that are being used in this example, 
uh, here. Um, there are a lot of potentials to uh, exploit the use of the benefits of IoT applications. In this example, Menemna and others uh, have proposed an intelligent monitoring um, system uh, for uh, detection of hard hat wearing of workers at construction sites. Uh, the system uh, uses computer vision techniques to detect whether the um, worker has uh, a hard hat sorry here you will see it detects the worn hard hat and if there is no hard hat worn uh, with the worker the system shows warning and uh, says that the worker doesn't have any hard hat these systems can enable us to uh, identify the situations whether the personnel at construction sites wear their hard hats or not. Um, with these applications also we can be able to uh, follow the safety regulations um, by tracking the resources and this can also enable us to prevent accidents or uh, other dangerous situations at construction sites. Another example from safety management uh, domain is from Canaan and others. It's named as IoT-based autonomous system for workers' safety in construction sites. It's, an, uh, it's a real-time alarming and monitoring system that uh, proposes to detect and identify hazardous situations at construction sites. It uses uh, proximity sensors. It uses uh, radio frequency sensors to detect the distances between entities. The resources are being tracked, such as workers and vehicles, and if the uh, distance, if the proximity is uh, lower than the threshold value, the system raises an alert um, and sends notification to the central server. Uh, another uh, use case of this study is the prevention and prevention of the unauthorized personnel to the unauthorized site zones. It uh, alerts on the workers site, buzzes and vibrates on the workers sites, uh, workers site if the personnel reaches to an unauthorized zone, site zone. Um, the system allows to uh, track the resources to prevent accidents by detecting the proximity uh, of the uh, resources at construction sites. Um, it uh, identifies and detects uh, hazardous situations and places by implementing an IoT-based autonomous system. Uh, to conclude with uh, this study, we can count some benefits uh, of IoT implementations at construction project management domain. Real-time and reliable information is possible with the implementation of these applications. Efficient use of resources, also traceability and visibility of resources are possible with IoT. Transparency in processes can be achieved. Better communication, better coordination can be achieved. Better engagement to safety regulations can be achieved with the implementation of IoT uh, applications. Also, there are some drawbacks. Um, privacy and confidentiality concerns can be raised uh, with these implementations. Constant monitoring of workers psychologically can have a negative impact on workers. Also, there are limitations. Applicability, applicability limits of sensor networks at construction sites can be countered. Resistance to new technologies uh, can be said. And also, acceptance level of workers of these uh, new technologies can be said as limitations. I would like to thank you all for listening to this presentation and if you have any questions you can contact me over this email here. Uh, let me remind you my name again. My name is Onur Doğan. Uh, and, uh, this e email, with this email you can directly contact and ask your questions about the uh, topic and the presentation itself. Thank you again.